Thank you very much. Mike, over to you. Thanks, Senator. I have a question on marijuana legalization. New Hampshire is surrounded by states uh, in a province of Quebec that, where it is legal. I'm going to sit on that question. Uh, because, and we'll come back to it if we have time. It can marinate and percolate, whatever the <laughs> word is. Because there's some news out of Colorado, which you probably have heard. And that's what I really want to ask you while I have time. And we'll come back to that if we can. Uh, the Supreme Court situation, the state Supreme Court in Colorado has is, is taken Donald Trump off the ballot out there. There was a movement here to do that. It didn't move forward. But I, I will come back to marijuana. But I really want to ask you, what are your thoughts? This will probably go to the U.S. Supreme Court on the uh, on Trump being removed from the ballot in Colorado and perhaps elsewhere. Look, it will go to the U.S. Supreme Court. There's no chance it won't. Look, I, I don't, I think we should beat Donald Trump at the ballot box, not in the courtroom. And I don't think that it will end this era, which I think needs to end in our country of Donald Trump, uh, by courts doing it. Uh, I think it will just cause more unrest and anger and bitterness in this country if we do it that way. I, I, I've now reviewed the opinion. There are arguments we made on both sides of it from a legal perspective. But frankly, uh, for the good of the country, I think the Supreme Court, the U.S. Supreme Court, should overturn the decision and return the decision to the voters and let the voters decide. Um, I, I'm, I'm on record of what I think about his conduct, both on Election Day 2020 and in all the days after that until he left office, and what he's done since then. Um, but um, I still believe that in this country, the voters get to decide who their president is. And uh, I think it's the wrong move to remove him from the ballot for those reasons because he hasn't been convicted of insurrection, um, hasn't been charged with it. Uh, and while I read the opinion and I understand the arguments, I disagree. Thank you, sir. Senator Pearl. Thank you again. So 